everyone. I'm so excited to share this with you. I got a package from Melody, from MelodyMade.com. You definitely want to go check her out. Some pretty foil washi tape here that has branches and snakes. Perfect for Halloween. Anyways, let's open it and see what's inside. I saved you the pain of uh, watching me try to cut it carefully without cutting everything else. Anyways, I got these teeny tiny little razor blades. Perfect to have over here at my little craft station. So let's see what's in here. I'm excited. Oh gosh, it's stuffed completely full. So let's start with... Oh, I can't even get anything. Let's see. Let's see if this will come out. You guys, this is so full. Oh, wow. Look at that. So pretty. Oh, it's a it's an altered playing card. And it says, "Thank you, Angie. I really appreciate this. Hugs, Melody." So what I'm doing is I got this beautiful kit from Melody. And I'm opening it here for you today, but we're going to be creating things with these items and some of my own that I'm going to pull in to make a Halloween journal. I'm so excited about this. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. And oh, look at this. Some other Pretty threads and ribbons that go along with this. Gorgeous. So this first package that came out, let's see. Aha. So these snakes, this is what is in this gorgeous washi tape. There's serpents and twisting vines and here's some more tape that says trick or treat, eek, boo, scary. So that's cool. Some glittery washi tape, glitter, the bane of my existence, is going to be used. Uh, some skinnier copper. Oh, here is, that's nice. This is a a chipboard um, die cut of a crow. Some nice stickers that are going to go really well with this. Oh, here's some more washi tape. There's bats. This says blood of bat, poison, elixir of doom, mystic mixture. So cool. And it's on another a uh, playing card that'll be awesome to use. Oh, here's another chipboard piece. It's, it is um, a haunted house to go along with this. Oh, and here's inside. I can, can see another little crow right there. This is so exciting. So we've got some really pretty six by six papers. And all of these sayings are what's on this washi tape. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to try and get everything in here. Oh. When I was cutting the package open, I sliced into a couple of my sheets of paper. Oops. Anyways, let's see what is in this one. Oh, there's some metal findings. This would be beautiful on the cover with like a gorgeous little brad or something right there and some ribbon to come around to close the book. We got to keep this one in mind. Here's that other little crow and a pretty little key. She doesn't know this about me, but Melody, 
I love these little keys. I've got quite a few and uh, I keep wanting to use them and then I go, oh, but then I won't have them anymore. So I'm a key hoarder, but I have enough now that I think, I think I might be able to use one or two. We'll see. So let's see what's in here. And what I love is she packages all of her things in these that are reusable, which is nice. Okay, so we have some snakes. Oh, these moths, the, the death head moth. One of my favorites, they're gorgeous. Thank you, Silence of the Lambs, for getting me in touch with my dead head moth. <laughs> Does anybody else remember that? I think it was Silence of the Lambs with the, the death head moth in it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, more awesome papers. Ah, oh, there's some skinny ones in here. Love that spider web. Oh, these spiders are fun. Some little bits that we can cut out in place. Awesome. Okay. Here's more. Ooh, I like this one. So these, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. These are spiders on the spider web. And I love the gold accents in this instead of silver, which is which is what I'm usually drawn to but I love the gold. Oh, that one's blue. That's beautiful. And I'm not sure if the camera picks it up, but it's not solid black. It looks like it's been spritzed with just a lighter black or a, a dark gray in there. And these are pieces that I believe they're, they're 12 by 12 sheets and she cuts one end off to fit in the package and still includes all of these small cutoff ends because they're so useful for, I mean, if you take this off, that is the perfect width for a tag or pocket for a tuck. So there's all sorts of these cutoff ends that she includes, which is amazing, tons of them. I'm gonna run out of room. I haven't even hardly cracked into this. Okay. So I'm gonna move these over here and we'll see what comes out next. Goodness. Oh my goodness. This thing, remember MelodyMade.com. Go check her out. Melody is awesome. She sent me some little extras because she's cool like that. And I'll look at these in a little bit. Let's check out just what's in the fancy flow that she sent me. So we've got these already. Now we will open this one, and it looks like it opens up here. Oh wow, you guys, this is like opening Christmas, only it's better because it's Halloween. So with her fancy flows, she always includes these different textiles, like um, fabrics that are gonna go with the the themes and different textures. Oh, check this out. It's so it's got this finished edge here, but then we've got this beautiful torn salvage edge with this purple in it. I am dying. I love this. So fabrics over here. A beautiful, beautiful piece of um, it looks like antique lace that is just stunning, stunning. 
It's it's almost got that hand tatted look. And I bet this is naturally aged, but if you had some white lace like this, you could age it with some tea or coffee. This is beautiful. We have little bits like this little trim here. So pretty. Oh, here's more. These are so pretty to do um, just at the edge of like a vintage picture or the tops for a tag. Perfect for that. Here's some really nice cordage that I could use to um, bind some of my signatures with or I don't know. I can think of so many things to do with these. It's going to be hard to choose. Oh, here's some more. Again, this beautiful. Oh, it's so soft. It's almost it almost has a silk feel to it. It may be a silk cordage. I'm not sure. It's, it's yummy feeling. And I know you know what I mean by yummy feeling. It's nice. Where do I start? Oh, look at this. Even these little flyaway bits like this. Oh my gosh, these are so fun to just take and kind of make a little bundle with and put it with like a little button or a rhinestone or something in there. Even little teeny bits like this add so much detail to what you're doing. Don't throw them away. Keep them. Like here's another little bit that just came off. I'm totally setting that over there. Okay, back to this. Enough with the bits. Other than look at this bit. Really pretty lace. Polka dots. Love that. Oh yeah. I am such a sucker for Paisley. This is beautiful. And again, I love this torn frayed edge. If you've seen <clears throat> if you've seen much of my work, you know that I love that torn, tattered, grungied up, dirty look that's still pretty. Ooh, this is a leather cord. Nice. Oh, another piece of beautiful lace. This is a little heavier lace. Um, I'm going to say, you know, it sounds weird, but this reminds me of my grandmother's curtains in her kitchen. And I love that. And if you hear rumbling and grumbling, it's not my stomach. We have a lightning storm going on here. Because that's definitely what we need in Oregon right now with all the wildfires. Oh. I have I can't see the screen on my on my camera to know whether or not this is picking up. This purple has paisley woven in. I mean, this is not a print. This is a woven and it's got this beautiful shimmery paisley in it. Another old vintage lace piece. Gosh, I I love using things like this in my in my journals. Love it. A piece of um stretchy cotton what is this uh, uh it goes on the edge like cuff i can't think of the word help me out love this perfect color my favorite color this this is my favorite color love it ooh, 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 ooh. can i ooh enough probably not have I ooed too much? No way. Lace. Look at that. Ah, I can't open it. There we go. Look at that beautiful lace. Gorgeous. And there's quite a little chunk of this. I love that. Oh, this is so dainty. Can you see the sparkles in this? Wow. Gosh, I hope the camera's picking this up. Melody, there's so much in here. I'm so excited. This is going to keep us busy 
for sure. After this video, I'm going to make my five minute Friday and we're going to use some of this. So not only is this going to be used in five minute Fridays, but we're going to have a separate playlist of creating our Melody Made Halloween junk journal. I hope everybody enjoys it. Here's more of that really nice tatted lace. Oh, this is pretty. Look at that. These deep, deep jewel tones are going to be perfect for this. Oh, the texture on this, you guys. I'm so excited. I can just see this, this whole piece on the edge of a page so that this sticks out. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, how pretty. And you know, you think, well, that's not really the same purples and everything. Look at that. She has things in here that go, they just go. They go together, love it. Beautiful piece of crepe back satin, love it. Here's more of that really rich, beautiful purple. Probably my sister's favorite color right here, Tracy. Okay, oh, one more piece. Oh, it's so nice and soft, this gorgeous brown. Here's some more of that, that pretty shiny filaments that I love using in, in my junk journals. It definitely goes over there. Nothing, nothing goes to waste. Okay, let's see the next baggy and it looks like oh you know what I'm going to grab just a second I'll be right back dish, a little saucer, so we could pour these out and look. Oh, this, it's like a, it's like a little spider charm that doesn't have legs. So, this would be gorgeous, and um, I don't know if you know, I do beading and wire wrapping and things. I think for one of my Wild Wednesdays, we will see what kind of cool spider we can create with this. That's gorgeous. Love that. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. Oh, yes. There's two. Here's a pretty little faceted bead. This looks like an antique that's been reclaimed. Some cool little skeleton beads. Oh my gosh, jack-o'-lantern. Can you just see all of the goodness that is in this dish? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, look at that teeny tiny key. I might actually squeal. This key is so little. Can you see that? Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm getting sidetracked by all the pretties. Okay, let's put these. I'm gonna I'm gonna put them right here. I'm gonna put the other metals with it and set it just over here so it's not gonna get knocked over and lost. Next we have ooh, some purple stickles to go with everything. Stickles are so much fun. Um, I remember as a kid we had uh, little glittery paint pens like this that weren't nearly as cool, I'm sure, because stickles are the cool kids. Okay, next, next package. It looks like there's some tags 
and some yarns, some chipboard pieces. Let's just get them all out. Ooh, these are nice. Okay, if it suddenly got quiet in here, it's because we just lost power, but I have a, my light going for my camera here, so we're still good. It's okay, baby bird. It's okay. Um, I have a, the lights are back on. I have a miniature chicken. She is a micro Sarama, and she's my in-house bird. I'll show her, I'll show her later. She's She's sitting here next to me, chirping away. Okay, look at these different colors. They all go so well with everything here. And then we've got some other little chipboard pieces. These are like the Dorothy, Wizard of Oz, the Witch, Scarecrow, Tin Man. Some more little, uh, looks like a compass. Look at that teeny tiny, I don't know if you can see it with my shaking. So cool. I'm going to set those over there. More metals. You guys, I don't know if you've ever used metals, like multimedia, um, in your junk journals. But when you start adding things like this, it really kicks up the quality, the, the detail. It's that attention to the tiny details that really, really bring the volume to whatever it is you're doing. Here's some more of these little chipboard pieces. They say Oz on them. Some stickers. That's oh, probably giving you a lot of glare. Stickers from the Wizard of Oz. There's no place like home. Oh, and she included some of these Graphic 45 papers. So that's what these are from. These are from the Graphic 45 kit. Um, not kit. Graphic 45 line. And these are the, the Magic of Oz. They're double-sided. So these are more of the end cuts so that they can fit in here. Oh, I love that gingham. Ah, look at that. Love it. Nice. This is already stamped. So you could just cut them out and it's instantly got your uh, decoration on the other side. Of course, I probably won't do that just because I know me and I'm going to tear it up and do my own thing. But that's really nice for people who maybe are just starting out and not sure where to go. This is the way to do it. Oh, stamps. Gorgeous. Nice. Munchkins of Oz. Fun. So cool, these papers you guys, they're so cool. Oh, the Wicked Witch. Oh, look at that. You just have no idea how exciting this is to me. The new papers, the new textiles. Love it. See, even these little tiny offcuts. There's so much you can do with this. More stamps. Nice. These are individual little cards. I think these would be gorgeous um, torn apart, like with a tear ruler. And I believe, uh, um, I believe I have a couple of those. So definitely gonna tear those apart. <laughs> Love this. Dorothy's proof. All you need is a dog and a pair of great shoes. Well, for me, it would be all you need is a chicken and a pair of great shoes. And my great shoes are usually, um, not going to lie, they're flip-flops because 
that's my style. Here's some more papers. Some really pretty um, frames and things. That was some textured paper. Nice. So pretty. It gives it gives a lot of depth to your pieces when you start adding just slight little textures like this. It gives so much depth. Oh, and she included some pages from an old children's book. These are so fun. The Sailor Pig. How neat! Through the gate. So lots of pieces. Uh, look at that. Love the artwork. Oh my gosh, you guys. There's so much here. Some really pretty paper. Oh, look at the back of that. Gorgeous. It looks good with my nails. <laughs> There's another sheet of this. Oh, it looks like two more sheets. So she sent three sheets of this for me. And then we're getting into... Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Of course we have the orange and black polka dot because, you know, it wouldn't be Halloween without that. Cats and owls and spiders. So fun. And more. Dorothy. Oh, the expressions. Love this. This is Graphics 45 paper. Nice. More of the gingham. Such pretty poppies. Little bubbles. So, Deadly Poppies, Heart, Magic, Wicked, Scarecrow, Wicked Witch of the West, The Magic of Oz. So fun. I hope you guys are getting as much of a kick out of all of this as I am. So cute. All he wants is a heart. That's all. So neat. Okay. So I think I've gone through all of the main part of the Fancy Flow. So what we'll do now is try and make sense of this a little bit on my desk, which is pretty tiny. Melody was super sweet to me because I told her what I was going to be doing here, um, showcasing her fancy flow and creating a whole journal, but she sent me some extras because she's just like that. So let's see what amazing things lie inside. Need to get the little staple out first. All right, I was able to get the staple out and get the extras that she sent me out. So she sent me a little card that says all that talks all about her fancy flows and what's what's in them, where you can find her. So her Facebook group is Newbie Junk Journal Makers. That's where I met Melody. Super amazing group. I definitely, definitely suggest checking it out. She's also got Making Memories with Melody on YouTube. And also, like I said before, MelodyMade.com. Oh, nice. This is a, a really nice weight. Not quite as heavy as a cardstock, but very... Uh, a nice feeling paper and she has melodymade.com on here and it's completely blank on the back so it could be 
used. It's not just a it's not just a pretty piece of paper. It can be used in your drink journals. So these are some of the extras that she sent. A nice piece of lace. Like I said before, it reminds me of the the curtain in my grandmother's kitchen. And I love that. Textures and flowers and leaves and the edging. Love it, love it. Here is another piece that she sent. A nice pretty lace. And I have used this lace before and how I've dyed them is with alcohol inks or alcohol ink markers. You can actually lay this down on a piece of paper and just color on it and then spritz it with some alcohol and the colors just bleed and, and meld together. It's, it's really pretty. And then the paper underneath is pretty as well. This feels like, oh it is, this is a nice um, antique. I'm going to say linen it feels like. Handkerchief. So pretty, so delicate. You can totally tell that this is hand done. This is not done by a machine. That's beautiful. As someone who sews, I can completely appreciate the hand-stitched pieces. Okay, here's some more lace. So pretty. Again, this is that uh, acrylic feeling lace or a polyester. They don't like to take dye unless it's an alcohol dye. And like I said before, I've done that and it has wonderful results. Oh, so pretty. An antique piece of fabric that has this beautiful little edge there. And I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a very faint print of a flower right here where I would assume that you could... Um, it was originally meant for hand stitching and applique or I can't think of what else it's called. Embroidery. Embroidery on hair. That's pretty. Oh, another. Look at that. Look at that lace edging. Very, very lightweight. Beautiful. Hanky. <sighs> Where do I start? There's so much here. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm going to pull this out so we can really get a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? This is just gorgeous. The edging where it twists, kind of like a little Celtic knot there. This flower is beautiful. Beautiful. Ooh. The bridal beauty of this, let me tell you. Gorgeous, so much fun. The textures, these beads. Wow. Here, let's go to this side. Oh. Uh, another piece that is absolutely positively hand done. This is old and it is beautiful. The texture on this is just gorgeous. Now, um, a tip I've got for you, and I've done this, the reason I'm telling you is because I've purchased things like this and they've, they're puckered and drawn up just mostly because of their age. You can spritz these down with some water, just do it lightly, and then lay them out flat. And I usually do it on like a piece of styrofoam and I will lay it flat and stick pins in it and then pin these pieces out. And when they dry, they'll stay out a little better than that. But honestly, I love this crunchy texture like this. That's gonna be great in, in our journal. Here's another piece of that really beautiful bridal looking lace. Oh, look at that. Can you see the iridescent threads that have been used in this? 
so beautiful. These remind me of like that um, gossamer, ghostly images that you see. That's kind of what this reminds me of. So pretty. Oh, here's so nice. Look at these delicate little flowers. Can you see these? I hope I'm on camera. I have not even checked to see that I'm on frame or not. I should probably do that, but uh, wow, this is beautiful. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't even know. This is just gorgeous. I can't believe. Melody, I cannot believe you sent all these extras. It's beyond words. These are beautiful and going to be so much fun to put in the various pieces that we make for this junk journal. Look at this, guys. Look at that. It's just, it's just scrumptious looking. I love that. So pretty, so pretty, so pretty. And the, the back of it, so she had this on the front, and this was the back, and it's a really pretty, it's a lightweight page, and it almost has the look of a vellum, but it's not. Doesn't that look like it's vellum? How nice. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm just going to try and pull all this out so you can get a look at the gigantic haul stickles and stuff and stickers and all of this and the beads and the metal findings and oh my goodness we're going to have so much fun creating things with this i am so excited anyways i will see everybody later I'm going to start creating something with this and making a new video for you. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye. And as I promised, I would show you my micro -serama. Her name is Thumbelina, but really we just end up calling her Birdie. And she's about nine weeks old. She's my indoor girl. She won't get a whole lot bigger than this. So, Birdie and I, thank you for watching. Bye.